We're here with Jenga, our current puppy prodigy. Uh, we're at a park and we're just gonna do some play. And now she's at the stage that we can start to ask for some obedience during her play. So we would suggest having a long line on your dog. Uh, and we have one of the Mutt Life & Co. slip collars. So we'll cue our session. Wanna play? You can see she understands what that is. When we cue that, we don't want the dog jumping on us. We want that attentiveness. Get it. Good girly, yeah. And if your dog drops it, you don't want to just give it right back to your dog. You want to make them miss. You want to make them work for it. Watch out for your counters, yeah. A little pull back, a head shake. Oh, we're going to let her win. And we're going to move away from the dog so they need to bring the toy to us. If your dog's not bringing it back, that's why we have the long line on. It might get caught up in their legs. Good girl. Very nice. Also, you want to keep your toy more parallel to their neck. A lot of people want to pull the toy up uh, and that can cause some neck damage if you're doing it too harshly. And you can see she dropped it because that's harder for them to hold on to. Oh, here you go, good girl. All right, so now I'm gonna do an O-U-T. At this stage, I'm putting my hand on each side of her mouth. Out, get it. And as soon as she drops it, I'm throwing it right back out for her. Jenga, yeah, good girl. Very good. Hey, give me more. We can do a little hip check. So just touching their rear end. That adds a little bit of pressure. Good girl! She bit a little bit more into it. I might sneak up. Yeah, good girl. Out. Sit. Yes. Good girl. And then we'll use that yes if the toy's on us. Good girly! Yeah! Good job. Ooh. Oh, good girl. Out. Sit. Good. Good. Yes. Nice job. Creating that window beside you, so that way it's a nice, easy target for your dog. Versus in front of you, a dog doesn't naturally run into a wall. Good girl. And if you're adding some more drive and motivation, move in a straight line back. Don't cross in front of your body with that toy. You're gonna get bit and it's gonna cause frustration with your dog. Oh! Out! Good. I'm gonna pick up my leash, so I'm gonna aid her a little bit with this heel position. Jenga heel. Very nice. And you can love on your dog too, not just focusing on that play. When I go back to play with her, I will say yes, so she knows that the love break is over with. Oh, good girl. Good job. Oh, good girly. itself is the reward. You're not using food during this session. We're using that play as that primary reinforcer. Yeah. Jenga. Good girl. Yeah. Again, moving back. If you've got to add a little bit of excitement, hustle backwards to encourage your dog to you. Try not to go to them. Again, that's why we have the long line on. Good job. Out. Good. All done. And all done means the session's over with. Even with it being right here, if she were to go for it, we would stop her with either an uh-uh or a no and add something to it, but she understands her window. We can take a 30 to 60 second break and then re-cue to play again. It's good to float through your windows. And this is what we want. We want a chill dog in that all done window. 
other than eating grass, but she is a retriever. Want to play? Yes! Nice job. Oh, girl. I'm putting my hand on each side, applying a little bit of pressure to that mouth, and I'm not tugging backwards. Get it. If you keep tugging, it's gonna be self-rewarding. Ganga! Yeah, good girl! Oh! heel open up that leg get it good girl just watch out for your legs when you're using a long line so they don't get caught up if you toss the toy out a little nag with that leash to invite her back in good girl give me more oh that's it good girl Again, don't just let your dog win without them giving you extra effort. She's getting a little tired, so we're gonna be wrapping up here soon, but I want her to do something. Don't just give your dog the toy. That's not gonna build their confidence, and they're gonna to start to know that you're just giving it to them. Out. All done. Good girl. Very good. And we'll wrap up at that. So try and end your session before your dog's checking out. In this way, you're mentally and physically working your dog. Good girly. Awesome job, JJ. So we're at just a random farmer's market. A good opportunity to play with your dog. So a lot of people wanna focus on just food in new environments. We wanna change that mind frame and really focus on some play and interaction with you. We're also floating through our windows with Jenga. So she's really engaged with a the toy. There's a lot going on. We have people come pretty close to her. So I use all done when she checks out. So I'm using negative punishment. I'm removing the reward of the toy, taking a pause in the game since she chose to check out. Then I wait a few seconds. I re-cue the wanna play window. We interact again. So she chose to check out. We're not adding a correction with her checking out. We're using negative punishment, which is very beneficial to use when used properly because she made that choice. So again, focus on play in new environments, watch for those counter moves and float through your windows. Yeah, that's it, girly. Oh. Oh, good girl. Big dog. 
Oh. oh, yeah, you whipped that head back and forth. Good job. Good job. Out. Get it. Good girl. Nice job, Jenga. Yeah, carry that toy. Good. Oh! Show them what you're working with! Good girl! Out! All done! Uh-uh! Good! Good girl!